Hi all. So today I'm going to talk about a rather nifty gadget. Um, it's called OBD Genie. Recently I bought a Ford Focus 2015 model and it didn't have sat nav and it didn't matter where I asked, you know, Ford dealerships, Ford parts department, they all said that I couldn't have sat nav in the car, it couldn't be retrofitted. Um, and it just, it didn't seem plausible um, considering the fact that my main console, as you can see the top right hand corner, um, has a compass. So I thought the car must be wired in such a way that surely I could have sat nav. So after much research I came to the conclusion that yeah, by going to obdgenie.com there is an actual um, OBD device which plugs into your car and ticks the function for sat nav and I could have sat nav so I thought great sounds good and ordered it and it's came today so this is basically a tutorial to show how if you have got a Ford car you know you can have sat nav it is definitely possible whoever has told you no um, they're obviously incorrect because I'm going to show you otherwise so Basically, when you get your pack through the post, you will get two USBs, a USB 1 and a USB 2. You will also get the OBD Genie, which is, as I'll just show, this nifty gadget with all these pins which plugs into your car. And you will get your SD card, as you can see, which will be plugging into your SD in your car and that will give you all your maps for your sat nav. So this video will, pro will most probably be in two parts as the USB one requires about 30 minutes to update. So we're going to start with that and I'm going to follow on to a part two video in which we'll do USB two, the OBD and you'll see how the function and the main console will change from, as you can just see I'm pointing to it, information system will change to sat, night, <coughs> sat nav, sorry. So we're going to begin. I'm just going to plug my USB 1 into my USB port. The USB port is located either in the centre console or I've actually got one just below my climate. Please keep your vehicle running not in accessory mode throughout the entire update installation. If you choose to upgrade your vehicle while idling in your driveway, make sure your vehicle is not in an enclosed space such as a garage during this time. Additionally, always make sure airflow under the vehicle is not blocked by tall grass, snow or any other obstruction. So we're just going to select continue, which is okay. Now this should typically take half an hour. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes to see how far it's going to go and most likely cut the video so I can do part one and part two. So this is part two of my video for showing you how to basically enable sat nav on your Ford. This video will, um, I'll be using the USB 2 followed by the OBD and then inserting the SD card in order to get my sat nav working and my maps going. So I'm just about to put the USB 2 into the USB slot. So just watch the centre console. This will install the next couple of files. There we go. Installation complete. So I'm just going to press continue. Okay. Now that that's completed, I'm going to remove USB 2. And now the interesting bit. I'm now going to put the OBD Genie. Now, this is a UK car 
and the OBD slot is right where I call this where I put my, my um, coins but if you squeeze the sides in it will fall and you'll actually see there's a port. Now the OBD as you can see has got all different um, pins and these are basically going in this way into the slot it will light up once it's green it's all right to remove and during this time the centre console will restart and hopefully it is going to be the top right hand box in which we're going to cast our attentions to. What said information before will hopefully say SatNav after it reboots. This again is something that Ford said could not be done, was impossible, must be done in factory. And hopefully, this will prove them wrong. So it's just finishing its reboot, performing scheduled system maintenance. And as you can see from the top right hand corner, it now says insert SAT NAV SD card. Awesome, right? So the very last thing, I've not obviously put it in yet, it's just been a wee bit quick. I'm just going to remove the OBD. And please insert a valid SD card or use turn by turn directions from sync services. So mid console, I'm using the F4 Europe version and I'm just going to put the SD card in just clicks in and as you can see it now says navigation navigation loading so my camera actually stopped working um, at the crucial point so I'm just going to retake this part of the video to let you see that the sat nav has worked as you can see, um, I've tried to get the video a little bit more clearer and the top right hand console now says insert satnav SD card and the compass part is smaller so we can obviously tell that things have went to plan. So I'm just going to insert my SD card once again. There we go. So I've just inserted it into the mid console and as you can see navigation has came up perfect so what we're going to do is is we're just going to touch this and there we have it I've zoomed it out purposely but you can zoom it in a lot more and it shows the street names and then it's just a case of all the different features from destination, you can set my home, your favourites, your previous destinations, so on and so forth. And obviously your menu button, you have your various navigation settings, your guidance, and you can have it either 3D and obviously any um, motorway information that comes up 3d straight on whatever you choose it's there so once again guys thanks for watching subscribe rate and i'll see you soon